Who else grew up in a household where if you made any money as kids, that money did not belong to you? Say, for example, you go to a party and all your aunties and your uncles begin to spray you money on the dance floor. And as it is our custom in Nigerian household, when you finish dancing, it goes without saying that all that money that you just made should be handed over to your mother who, quote unquote, kept it for you. So you don't lose it, right? And fast forward a week later or some time, you know, you go to the supermarket and you see some candy that you've always wanted to get. You run to your mama and you say, hey, mom, you know, I want that candy. And as usual, your mom is going to say no. To which you're going to respond, I want to use my money that I made to buy what I want. To which she would then respond, what money? And then you would then say, uh, the money that I made on the dance floor that you kept for me, remember? And it is at this point that you hear the story every parent has told or will tell at one point or another. And that story comes down to this. It comes in different shapes and sizes. The story comes in different languages, different culture, but it really doesn't matter what your background is, you know, but it's probably going to sound something like uh, the roof over your head, I yeah. pay for. Mm -hmm. The food that you eat every day, I pay for. The mm -hmm. clothes that you are wearing right mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. I paid for. The air that you breathe, mm -hmm. the leg mm -hmm. that you are walking with, <laughs> I pay for. You owe me your life. <laughs> at which point you are probably quiet <laughs> and if this is your first time hearing this you are probably crying and in shock and yep. that your mom would do you like this you know because you know she growing you. <laughs> gro growing up as she kids played, well played. you you know she played you you just got played brother you, <laughs> you you know and if you can't relate to this i don't know where you grew up at but hey <laughs> welcome back to my darling bride podcast powered by refuge and fortress network it is yours faithfully and sincerely, Pastor Emmanuel Oludansi, also known as PY. And I have a very, 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 very <laughs> special guest with me on today. None other than the one and only, <laughs> I call her Ololufemi, my sweet potato. Uh, tomato joss. <laughs> eh? The sugar in my tea. The honey in my... <laughs> Lady O of life, Woo Lady O, Mrs. Loni yes. Oluka Hey, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here today. Uh, yes, you're Looks here like today. It's been forever. It has been forever. <laughs> <laughs> it is good to have it's you good back. To be back. Oh man. All right. So 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 say something to our listeners. Say well, something. Say I've something. missed everybody. Yes, and we've missed you too. And it's really good to be back, <laughs> having this really fun conversations. I've been enjoying being a listener uh -huh. so to say yep. <laughs> i've been enjoying being a listener listening to you <laughs> listening to pk and mm -hmm. officer and you guys are just always cracking me up yep so it's been a good time and it's good to lend my voice again yes we're <laughs> happy to have you back in the studio with us if you are yet to subscribe please go ahead and do so now also comment and share yes. the bible says in ephesians chapter 6 verse 4 it says fathers i want to remove that word and replace it with parents, parents yes. do not provoke your children to anger by the way that you treat them rather bring them up with the discipline and instruction mm. that comes from the lord mm -hmm. please understand that this analogy makes lights the analogy of the story that i just told about how you know, you go to a dance party, you make some money, your mother takes that money from you, right. uses that money, and then reminds you that everything you have, your entire being, is <laughs> she's the one responsible for, right? right? Understand that that analogy makes light it's of a, a very version. serious issue yes. in some household when it comes to parents dealing with their children's money mm. and dealing with finances in general. It becomes even more of a problem when the child is a grown up yeah. making ease her, her own money mm -hmm. or when the parents tampers with their children's financial future, mm. regardless, regardless yes. of, whatever, of the whatever the reason may be. 
I want you to pay attention to this video right here. Me, you found a report on your mother. Yes, I did. On your mother. Yes, I did, because I'm not going to take it no more. I don't have to take this anymore. So what's more important to you? Your credit or your mother? I should, not, I, I, should have have choose, I should not have to choose. I should not have to choose between the two. Well, you gonna choose today? Because who do I have to do this? Who you, has to even go to this class? I'm sick of this stuff. You, you know said what? the last time you wasn't gonna do it again, and then here we are, and you know not to make it. Now you, know you messing stuff up. You it. messing stuff up for my future. I can't even get a house. You know, I, I, <sighs> it's very heartbreaking, it's I would say, heavy. listening to that. It's very heavy. It's very yeah. packed. It's very loaded. There's a lot going on in there. Yeah. The one thing she said last was... I mean, let's let's just give a summary quickly. Yeah, yeah. For those that didn't... Because they're, like, really, like, emotional, both of them. And it might have been hard to hear if to you didn't understand really understand what, saying, what was yeah. going on. Mm -hmm. So, basically, we have a mother and a daughter... And clearly, you could hear the daughter. She's much. She sounds much older. Mm -hmm. Obviously, she's talking about going to college. She's talking Getting about having house. work. She's talking about you know credit. So mm -hmm. she's not a kid. Mm -hmm. She's a grown up, mm -hmm. so to say. And um, from what it sounds like, it sounds like her mother used her credit to do something. Maybe yeah. get a loan. Maybe buy something. Mm -hmm. Whatever the case may be, use the credit without letting her know, and she found out. Yep. And it sounds like, and she also pointed out that this is not the first time. Mm -hmm. And it is, she also mentioned that it has negatively affected her yep. credit yep. Yep. in the past. She hasn't been able to secure a student, student loan. loan with going to college and all that. Yeah. So she, the daughter's fed up. She's like, her mother is pretty much messing up her future uh -huh. by messing with her credit. Uh -huh. The mother's fed up because she feels like she's doing everything she can for her family and yeah. her children. And this is what she had to resort to in order to help her family yeah. from her point of view. Yeah. So that's the argument. No, that's not just the argument. And so out of the daughter being fed up, she calls Call the, the cops, cops on her mother. Yeah, she filed a police report on her mother. Yeah, so so that's 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 what's making this a bit hard for me, I guess I would say. <sighs> The reason why, and again, okay, before we even go any further, for those of you who are listening, maybe you're not you're not from America or you're you're living in other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, credit runs almost everything here in America. Mm -hmm. um, credit is your buying power. Um, your yeah. credit score is important. You're able to do a lot with your credit score. Yeah. Things are very expensive, but the way America works is they allow you to be able to pay some things in installment until you're able to pay it off. Mm -hmm. And that comes by how much, how good your credit score is, how yeah. well you've been able to manage your finances. Mm -hmm. And that is reported on your credit report. Yeah. So 
the mom messing with her credit is a big deal. And you use your credit to buy like purchase houses, right? You know, get different things. Get a car, right? Take, so borrow by money for business, exactly. Pay those installments. You're building yeah. credit to be able to use exactly for various assets. And the mom going behind behind her back to do this is almost like she said, messing her messing up her future yeah you know, it's not even almost she, you, you live in america right. you, you mess with a credit <laughs> it's a problem because she wouldn't be able to do anything exactly. without that credit she you has know bad credit exactly so no she mentioned something she th th that part i can't even let go i want us to deal with that very quickly she said you call the cops on me. there's so many parts we have yeah, to break I down know. but we can start with that one because i know that one was really bugging you we can start with that one right so she said she said <sighs> what do y'all think about that first of all right is there ever right that's the first question that i have to ask right is there ever a point in time where it's okay it is okay <laughs> to call the cops on your parents <laughs> and i mean the answer is no i mean and, and, and understand, oh, understand, yes. understand that the right. reason why we have to ask that question <laughs> yes is because we come from a background okay. where you just don't do right. that that's why i wanted to i wanted to give a disclaimer <laughs> back to my answer so for me personally, right? And I have to speak personally because, um, like you said, our culture, our background, the way you're brought up really contributes to your mentality. Yep. It contributes to your beliefs and what you think is right and not and wrong. So for us, for me, let me speak for myself. <laughs> for me personally, based on how I was raised uh -huh. and based on my culture, it's a it's almost it's like a it's like a taboo, taboo yeah. to do something like that it's yeah. like parents we know can do things they can offend they can they can be wrong you know like they're human beings you know but it's like there's never a point where it's like <laughs> it gets to like disrespect is one thing like you know what i'm saying they yeah. tell you don't disrespect your elders talk less of your parents yeah to call the cops yeah. on your parents yeah. it's like wow you're, you're like the no matter what they did yeah. i mean they could have done the worst yeah. of the worst yeah the minute you say you call the cops you're like the black sheep you're He's disowned like, black sheep what? you at the house you are disowned so i guess that mentality is what makes me say no because no, no what it's not okay it's never okay because there's, there's i never... would never uh -huh. do that personally mm. like i just feel like everybody's different but i can't see myself and it could be because of i could be biased based on my upbringing like there's nothing my parents can do mm -hmm. that would offend me to the point of calling the cops on them like yeah. i would walk out the door yeah. before i do that yeah. you know yeah so but i understand also that especially here in the western world uh -huh. like you like to say <laughs> <laughs> in america abroad wherever wherever you're from outside of africa so mm -hmm. to say yeah where things are different mm -hmm. cultures is different home upbringing home um situations different. are different yeah like we talk about toxic there's toxicness in african homes but we kind of overlook it you know what i'm saying but over here they don't do that yeah. they don't overlook they, yeah. they, like it's just not a thing so she got the daughter got to the point where she's like Okay, she's ruin ruin her life. Uh -huh. She has to stop her. Let me stop you right and there. And the only way to stop her is by calling the cops. To when you say toxic, what are we? What 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 are you saying that with their situation was a toxic situation? I mean, I feel like it's gotten to that point where it's tox yes. toxic. Yes, okay. because this is not the first. You, you could hear it the, in the reason why in both the, their, the reason their why voices. I'm, the reason why I'm saying that is because when we when we ask that question, is there ever a time? where it's okay to call the cops on your parents. Just like you, we grew up in the same background, right? I would never do something like that. Right. I just don't think it's okay. But I do believe that there are instances where it is very much okay to call the cops on your parents. In instances, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna hear this. No, no, no. What, no, I, mean is, is what I mean is, in an instance where, for example, because you were talking about toxic toxicity right right to me personally i don't think this is a toxic situation there's, you know it, there's it levels to yeah it. there's levels to it right. and it there's some on extreme you, it depends like, on who you ask really exactly. right but in my opinion i don't think this was toxic at all <laughs> now what are instances where you could call the cops on your parents maybe you have a parent who is just who endangers your life 
mm-hmm. and to you know in, in order to to save yourself the next thing you could do is call it's the cops 911. call 911 you know what i mean mm-hmm. in that case it doesn't matter who it is your parent or not you call the cops because your mm-hmm. life is in danger you understand what i'm saying mm-hmm. or um in 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 other situations where maybe their life is in danger and then you know at that point you're not calling the cops on your parents you're just calling the cops because to save you them. Know, to save but them. i guess my question then is mm-hmm. before it gets to that point yeah it's 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 a starting point for everything uh-huh. right uh-huh. before it gets to the point where it's like oh my god this person's life is in danger there's signs and red flags and so many things yeah. that has happened no, but, so before it gets to that point mm-hmm. why not just leave no 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 because you have to understand sometimes that these 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 are people who without their parents probably don't have no anywhere else to live number one number two you have to also understand that most children love their parents and they will overlook a lot of things they will take a lot of things until they can't take it anymore. And then call the cops. And then it That's gets a to a similar... point to the point where their life is in danger. They have two choices. No, I understand. Either the you li- call the cops no. or you take matters into your own hands. I understand being obviously the, if you're in a state where you feel like your life is in danger in that moment, yeah. you do what you have to do. Exactly. I understand that. I'm just saying, even before getting to that point, just leave. Hey, but that's what I was trying to tell you, sir. That to leave is not as easy as it sounds yeah but guess what you call the cops and the parents now they come they t- arrest or they take report you ain't staying there after that no, yes. you're gonna have to leave at some point <laughs> you're not gonna call the parents at your or, or cops or your parents and then still sleep well all right good at night least, the at, cops least you're, at least you have a life at least you're alive <laughs> at least you're no, not dead no no what i'm saying is the the leaving part mm. is it's gonna happen when if, you what, take what it if, to that point yeah but what if you they don't want you to leave what if you can't leave? after you call the cops on them no 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 before because right now what we're talking about is leaving before it gets to the point of what do you mean they don't want you to leave i didn't the show my soul oh my soul my soul my yeah I, those are, <laughs> what are you talking about no their parents that will make sure you don't leave the house no at that point if you're being held hostage you mm-hmm. gotta call the cops so so <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. What I'm I, trying not to call the cops <laughs> on you. You trying to hold me hostage? Like what I'm just trying to point out, though, is that I don't want us to. I don't want. I don't want us to sound like we're not. We're out of touch with reality, right, like, especially being from the western part of yeah, the world. Yeah. We've seen some things. We've heard some things that are like okay, crazy. So it's like calling the cops is culturally not okay but there are instances where, where it is okay it is exactly so you don't say oh um oh i heard a podcast mdb they said never they call the cops on your parents eh? no 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 no, no. Damn, my man. <laughs> don't <laughs> say i never listen to people <laughs> <laughs> and is that not called the india in danger <laughs> you do what you gotta there do there are instances <laughs> where you do what you gotta do all right so so i just feel like no the reason why in there let's just go back to their situation yeah this sounds like there's a lot of love. Yes. There's a lot of hurt, obviously, yeah, yeah. and that can only come because I f- it sounds like they they do love each other. This is not a this is not a situation where it's like the 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 the, the daughter is like, now nah, you treat me bad. You know what I'm saying? Like that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. She just wants her mom to stop like making whatever decision mm-hmm. she's making. Mm-hmm. So I feel like. <laughs> You're like what? I just blanked out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Anybody has ever had a moment where you're like mid sentence and you just blank out? I just blank. You feel like out. what? I was trying to make a point. Oh my god! Just keep talking. I'm right, trying to remember. So given what we've just heard, given what we've just heard, okay. what do you what do you think? Who do you think is wrong in this situation? No, they both have a part to play. Okay. The only reason why we would say, or I I would say. They both have a part meaning like also saying the daughter is because of the calling of the cops things but we have established that there are situations where that could happen mm-hmm. but if we're to say who we're saying is to blame i will say the mother mm-hmm. not just because of the argument they're having right now mm-hmm. is because of everything she's done that led to this moment mm-hmm. do you mm-hmm. understand what i'm saying mm-hmm. so i would put the blame on the mother like what happened how did you guys get to this point because what? because it's still her job to parent exactly you know the only thing that i would say to, and, and i agree i agree with you on that because again you know th- there's there's a lot more that's at at play here i just feel like there's something about respect and honor mm-hmm. um 
that's missing in the Western part of the world when it comes to parents, children relationship. Yes. Where most children really don't have that fear of God in their heart concerning their parents. Honoring their parents. Honoring their parents. Like I understand your mom messed up, but I don't think it would ever be okay in my book to talk to your mother like that. No matter how wrong she is, right? Mm -hmm. Like you could be upset, you can call cops on her, you can just say, listen, mom, I don't want to disrespect you. I don't want to do anything, but this is what I got to do. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like you can calmly I mean, it, it address her. It goes back her, to up, upbringing and our but it does go back to we're raised. Exactly. That's why we have that kind you know, of mentality. And, and, and that, when we talk about who's wrong, you're right. You said, yeah, the woman is wrong. She shouldn't have done what she did, you know? Now, here's the thing that I was going to say though, right? Because it's easy now, right, to to say that um, the mom messed up, she did this, she did that because of she messed up, she messed with her credit, you mm -hmm. know, she's messing with her future, right? Mm -hmm. oh, it's easier to 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 shout and point fingers and everything like that. But what if the case was reversed? What if she did in fact use her daughter's credit, but mm -hmm. she's actually helping the daughter, right? She's using the credit, paying it back, making sure nothing laps. She's actually helping her build her credit so that by the time she's 18, 19, 20, most people that don't have credit history, a daughter does, and she has a great credit history, right? What if that case was, what if that was the case? From the sounds of it, it sounds like that's not her first time using the credit. So mm -hmm. she probably did start off like that. She probably was doing that. Mm -hmm. But I think the issue is, Number one, obviously, whatever she did backfired, meaning mm. it wasn't helping. But if it was reversed, I would only say the issue, the only issue in, in that case would be, why aren't you having a conversation with your daughter about it? Mm. Why is she finding out that you used it after you used it? Especially a grown child. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, I, I don't use my social security and everything. And then I go somewhere and find out, oh, you, you maxed out <laughs> your credit. What credit? Do you, <laughs> right, you understand right. what I'm saying? So that's something she would still need to have a conversation with, with her, her daughter about. about yeah. Okay. Okay. And I feel like that's also where she went wrong. Like, yes, you're the mother. You can make decisions. But your child gets to a point where they start making decisions for themselves. Mm. At that point, mm. you have to treat them like an adult. Mm. So if you you need their help mm. or you need something from them, you need to have a conversation with them about it. And they have a choice to say yes or no. However that goes, goes. But I just feel like whether it's good or bad doing it without her knowledge uh -huh. is not okay now a lot of people will say this that a lot of people you you don't understand right well some people will tell you like some people are listening right now some parents some mothers some father would say you know it's easier said than done it's sweet to say when you're not the one in the situation mm -hmm. right they would say that they had to do what they had to do right mm -hmm. Is there grace for what she did, what the mom did? From the sounds, from her, her talking, it sounds like she's doing it from a good place. Uh -huh. She's not trying to intentionally mess up her mess daughter's, up her daughter's right. credit. Uh -huh. She needs help. She's trying to help them. She's trying to feed them. Yeah. Keep the roof over their head. Mm -hmm. So it's coming from a good place. But I'm also a parent mm -hmm. now. Right. And thinking about it, it's like it's a tough decision. This is something you got to think about very well. Obviously, as parents, you, you hear people advise you, you know, you could start building your child's credit early, you know, start putting yeah. financial things in place yeah, for them yeah. early and all that kind of stuff. And that's great. But it goes back to the decisions that mm. you make with those things. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Am I building credit, using the credit to get loans and then spending those loans anyhow i mm -hmm. see yeah. or i'm actually putting some things away from my child do you get what i'm saying like what is the intent because at the end of the day you don't want to mess it up for them yeah yeah so it comes down to that it's like if you can't handle it mm -hmm. and you know you can't handle this kind of responsibility in terms of like getting loans and all that kind of stuff don't put it on your daughter's credit yeah <laughs> put it on yours <laughs> and if you can't do uh, that don't get it on your daughter's credit so, because now you risk now speaking, messing of, that speaking up. of decision i think what you just said actually is is the decision part of it because now this is how this is this is a reflection on the mother a, a reflection on 
a, a poor reflection on her decision making ability right absolutely as a mom as a parent and things like that and, and, and really the point of this episode right is about making better, better life yes. and financial, financial. decisions yes. as parents right because apart from everything else that the mom has done from what we're hearing today i take it all the way back to the kind of decisions she's made in the past in the big from the beginning yeah right the decision in terms of the man she married yes because she mentioned that she did she went as it. like you could tell her, her it runs deep obviously yeah, yeah. and she said well their father left. Left. <laughs> and i love my parents uh -huh. <laughs> well i had to do this because the yeah, father left father me left, and it's not a, it's, it's not false but yeah. yeah the child is like so yeah. what's the guy doing me? yeah yeah <laughs> it goes back yeah. to the decision of yeah getting with somebody yeah. that is right yeah you know yeah it, it just goes back to making the right decision yeah. with the help of god yes and with and, the help and, of and, god. and 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 also the right decision in the sense of number one with the help of god and with the help of god meaning he will guide you and he will mm -hmm. lead you in all the right things to do mm -hmm. you know and again the kind of person even you are as an individual right. right it's one thing to be able to, to marry the right or wrong person is another thing to be a person who has a good head on their shoulder who knows how to manage finances who knows how to um budget and take care of a home and all kinds of stuff like that i know right. life happens and things like exactly. that exactly but at the end of the day there's a lot we have to think about when it comes to making better life and financial decisions as parents yes. now before i go into um what i just want to talk about very quickly as far as tips to sharing uh, uh to to uh being um uh, to managing life and, and finances as parents the question <laughs> if the mother was arrested right for identity theft because that's what would have happened if she called the cops <laughs> yeah yeah you know I mean? uh would that have made the no, daughter happy i don't think it would have she out of frustration she made that decision which was a in my opinion a poor decision obviously but it was out of frustration and i don't think it would have made her happy because maybe that goes back to what i was trying to say before uh -huh. from the sound of her voice it uh -huh. sounds like there's love between them and it sounds like they both just hurting and not happy with whatever's happening mm -hmm. or whatever the situation is so i don't think it would have made her happy that's why you got to think twice before you do certain things you make some decisions and then you look back and you're like okay Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Because the mom is working and it's, they have other kids and she's taking care of other Because guess what? The mom gets arrested now. She's going to be the one to take care of her siblings. Exactly. So wherever else is in that <laughs> household. So, you know, I feel like that was just out of a frustrating situation. She made that decision to kind of like, maybe she's telling her mother and her mother didn't listen. And she's like, well, I'm going to follow up on this report on you. Yeah. That's extreme. Man. My opinion this is like, wow. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's tough you know it's tough um but unfortunately it, it it's sad to say but it kind of before you go into your um um what you have to say it's sad to say but it still falls on the parents because you are the parents you are the one that they gave the responsibility god gave the responsibility of looking after these kids mm -hmm. no matter what age and mm -hmm. creating a better life for them than you had mm -hmm. and that might have been an in, her intent but it goes back to knowing how knowing yourself if you know you can handle it don't put them in that situation exactly you know and think about better um um scenarios in which you can help hey man if they need to be drinking gary every night till you're able to get back <laughs> on your feet it's better than using her credit to get out a forty thousand dollar loan and then not be able to pay back yeah. and now her credit is shot yeah you know so it's like yeah it, it's it's tough but you have to juggle which one is better for the long term for especially long -term. when kids are involved exactly. like you want to set up a better life for them than you had so try to make better decisions that could help them in the future things that could potentially hurt them stay away from mm -hmm. you know according to moneygeek.com says black and african americans have had limited access to building wealth for generations systemic they've had limited access to building wealth for generations systemic inequalities housing and unemployment discrimination mm -hmm. lack of financial literacy mm -hmm. high default rates on student loans and other factors have significantly contributed to the racial wealth gap. Mm. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Speaking about 
black America. So there's already a lot of things up against up against <laughs> the black exactly. the, 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 the the average right. black home in America, right. right? And according to the Federal Reserve, the average white family's wealth is seven times higher mm. than that of the average black family. In 2021, the national poverty rate for black Americans which was 22%, was more than double that of white Americans, mm. which was 10%. Wow. <laughs> As reported by the Kaiser Family Foundation, KFF, right? What we are seeing here is a foundational problem that needs to be dealt with yes. from the roots, yes. right? It needs to be dealt with from the roots. And be before we close today, I'm just going to share these three tips very quickly on how making better life and financial decisions can help set your children up for a right future yes. as parents who are listening right now number one equip yourself and when i say equip, equip yourself is really talking about understand that there is a reaction for every action mm -hmm. there's a consequence for every choice Absolutely. right that means everything we do in life is connected one choice today affects so many other things tomorrow mm -hmm. right yeah and and from literally like a decision from the person you marry mm -hmm. to how many children you have uh uh to to where you live and the school you go to the jobs you take the yeah. major you you what you majored in in college like all of these decisions it's connected is all connected yes, you is. know what i mean mm -hmm. and so we have to equip ourselves with under, with that first understanding that everything i do is connected to something else that i'm going to do later in the future yeah. right and then you want to develop yourself to making better decision understand that the power of decision making with the help of the holy spirit right understand that there is power in making decision with the help of the holy spirit we see in part we know in part we yeah. don't really know everything we don't really see everything you know just yet but at least with wisdom the ones we do know the ones we have seen mm -hmm. we can use that to kind of make good and greater decision effectively. you know what i mean yeah. use it effectively and then as part of equipping yourself take financial literacy seriously as early as possible yes Yo. oh my goodness it's so important oh my oh. goodness when we talk about financial literacy mm -hmm. i wish they thought it in, in in high school in schools yeah in high school it's so important like yeah. i wish they told us you know how they were telling us how important our gpa is for college yeah. you got to have a 3.5 gpa mm -hmm. you got to have it if you want to get into a great school you got to have good gpa yeah. and that was just kind of you know grind and grain in our mind in our mm -hmm. brain that we knew we didn't even know what it meant all we just knew that we, we just we had to have a to great have gpa a yeah. so we can get into one of the good schools and everything like that i wish that they would grill credit score in our mind just yeah. the, just the same way yeah like look i don't care what you do you gotta have great gpa and you gotta have a great credit score yeah. like one of those two numbers just, just help us understand <laughs> because we, we we get to a point where we become adults yeah as kids yeah as become adults and uh -huh. we have to start making these life decisions like you said yeah and we're thrown into this world yeah and we got to figure it out now we took my income exactly. expenses and bills and this yeah. one and that one and oh it's connected to your credit and you're yeah. like whoa, 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 yeah, yeah whoa, exactly wait, wait a minute it's, it's <laughs> it, and, and if you, you go back to the the the, the, stat the statistics, statistics that i just talked about yeah. right? it says 22 percent versus 10 percent in white 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 um white homes and families right yeah. you have to understand a lot of white families prepare their children yeah. for the future yeah they, they do. tell them these things at yeah. home your parent who yeah. don't know how are they gonna tell you yeah you know what i'm saying you have to find out on your own yeah. when you get out there yeah. and then you get to college you see people from all kinds of walks of life and you yeah. they, they 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 look like they haven't all figured, figured it out, out but their parents just set them up and like, you look like you just started <laughs> oh my goodness yeah. right so let's take financial literacy seriously from mm -hmm. a young age understand the language of money and then teach that language yes. to our children absolutely equip ourselves yeah number two tip that i'm going to share today is to encourage yourself encourage yourself by knowing that number one whatever situation we find ourselves in today is not going to be forever we're mm -hmm. always going to get better with the help of god we're going to progress right so that means we don't we don't we don't knock ourselves down because of our current situation yes. 
But at the same time, it also means that you're cutting your coat according to your size. Mm. You're not spending bu- above, above your, your means. means. Yes. You're not spending money that you don't have yet. Mm. A lot of us in the black family do that. Yeah. We have a money uh, that we're yeah, expecting. <laughs> yeah. We have spent it all before it went out of pocket. Exactly. <laughs> and we've spent that money before we see that money. Oh, right? Let's yeah. cut our coat according to our sizes, mm-hmm. right? It's better. I, I think for that mother, it would have been better for her to to explain to her kids uh, why they may have to deal with a temporary discomfort now mm-hmm. for a chance at a comfortable future yeah. than to give them comforts now and then a very uncomfortable, uncomfortable. future. Yeah. Right? Downsize if you have to. Exactly. Minimize spending if you have to. Stop the traveling. Like limit the things you do, the the, the luxurious, you know, yeah. the luxury things, the, the leisure things yeah. you do if you have to for now. And rest in that knowledge that your story doesn't have to end in shame, right? Your yeah. story will end in glory. And where you are today is not the end of your story. With the right tools, with the right information, with a little bit of grit, with determination, with dedication, with commitment, you can change your situation Absolutely. overnight. Absolutely. I mean, it's not going to be overnight, but you can but. work towards making your life a better, <laughs> making making your life yeah. better, especially in a country like America, especially a country like America where you can make something of yourself yes. if you are willing the resources, the resources are there, are there. Find the it. opportunities are there yeah. you just information gotta find it information is power oh just my get goodness. that information information is there yeah. you know and knowing the right people and everything yes. look you have a greater chance of, of success in america than anywhere in else in the world yeah. <laughs> let me just say that right and then finally as a tip on making better life and financial decisions as parents is to empower yourself. Mm. Equip yourself, encourage yourself, empower yourself. What do I mean? Give Empower yourself with knowledge, right? Mm-hmm. Speak to an advisor. A financial advisor is like a money therapy, right? And if you can't afford one, take advantage of podcasts like this, right? Yeah. Books. Uh, 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 um, books that teach on money management. Online. Online. YouTube. Google, YouTube. Google, right? You have local organizations yeah. in your local area who social are teaching media. financial social media. Social now media is so much stuff. Exactly. Even your church, you yeah. know, sometimes will bring financial, financial literacy, yeah. money management, budgeting, all kinds of stuff. They bring it to your church and things like take advantage of that and just empower yourself with information because, Absolutely. like they say, knowledge is power. power. And if you can, if you have the means and you're able to go back to school, mm-hmm. get a degree or a certificate or something. That increases your income bracket, increases your chances of getting into a higher income bracket. Yeah. Start a business while you're working your nine to five. Do something to improve your spending and your buying power. Yeah. If you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Right? I think that key is information is power. Just get that knowledge is power. Knowledge man. is power. <laughs> get it and you see how much things change. Yeah. yeah. So thank you, PY, for those three tips on making better life and financial decision. I actually learned a lot. I'm going to go empower myself. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But in case you didn't know, there is a financial literacy tool from Consumer Financial Protection Bureau called Money As You Grow. Mm. It's called Money Money As As You You Grow. Grow. This tool is designed to help build your child's money skills based on their age and education level. Not only does it serve as a great tool to get the conversation started at home, you know, with various activities and conversation starters that can keep your children on track. It can also teach the average parents the basics of financial planning. For more information, please go to www.consumerfinance.gov. Once again, that website is www.consumerfinance.gov. Golf. yep 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 thank you for that quick information as you get ready to enjoy your weekend here is our mdb quote of the week and it goes thus it is easy to build mm. strong children than to, to repair mm. broken Ooh. men yes it Frederick is Douglas. easy to mm. build strong children 
than to repair broken men by Frederick Douglass. Heavy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I say that again? It's easier. It's yeah, easier. It's Listen, easier. parents, mm -hmm. put in the work now to build strong children. Yes. It's easier to do that than to repair broken men Heavy. or women. Frederick Douglass say that. Yeah. And that is all we have for today. I hope we'll share the tip, tip or two, two to help solidify your kingdom union, not only with yourself, but with others, and most importantly, with God. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> and until next time. Until next time. Be the light, be the, be the salt. salt. And remember, all, all things, things are, are possible, possible if you, you believe. believe. Before we go, as we always like to say, if you need to talk to somebody and you're looking for somebody to sit down with you for a free 30 minutes to an hour session, maybe you're about to make a life changing decision you want to navigate the next phase of life of decision making and you need somebody to bounce idea off of you need somebody to talk to somebody feel with the holy spirit that can give you biblical guidance on what to do pray with you fast with you discuss with you and whatever the case may be please reach out to us send us an email at info at the rf network.org yes. info at the rf network Dot org help is available yes. to you if you are willing to receive it god bless you that is all we have for today we love you with the love of god bye bye, bye.